Point one, let me start with a puzzle. This is GDP per capita, how much we produce over a thousand years. What you see here is that human GDP was constant over basically the last 2000 years. And then around basically around 1750, all of this started to explode. We got exponential growth and it's still a bit of a mystery why. Point two, two words from Joel Mokir. There is propositional knowledge. That is knowledge about nature, knowledge about what in nature, theoretical knowledge. Then you've got prescriptive knowledge. It is the how to in nature, how to change nature. It is basically technology. Around the year 1750, somewhere in the 18th century, these two really started to interact with each other and they produced a positive feedback loop. And this is why before we got this upshoot in GDP. Point three, how do these spillovers work? Mainly, if you want to improve your car and you just decide, well, I'm just gonna sit at my desk and write down equations forever and then I've got the solution, this is not gonna work. You need to try it out and kinda experiment with a car. Also, if you just decide, well, I'm the tinkerer and I'm just gonna work on the car and try out everything without having an understanding of how the mechanics work, you're, you're not gonna get anywhere. What you need is this constant improvement of new ideas through theory and practice. And so what happened in the 18th century? We got a new environment in which these ideas were produced. With that, everything changed. Number four, why does it matter? We get a new understanding of how human society developed over 2000 years. What we also get is a new framework to think about how reorganizing knowledge can change our economy. And we're living in an age of AI, of chat robots. We can access technology way easier than ever, ever before. Does that also change how we produce new ideas and how we operate as a society? This is a question that I think Joel McKeer's research wants us to think about.